Now, what they did in Scotland when this came into play was they said, oh, that's fine, all the agents went, we'll just put the rent up in month one. If the rent's 500, we'll charge them 800 in month one, we'll take 300 for our fees and the rest of the tenancy, it'll just be 500 quid. They got wise to it and we can't do that, okay? So landlords cannot have a, high, cannot have a higher rent in month one and then a lower rent throughout the duration of the tenancy, not allowed. Now, we've put here the um, higher rent option for pets. The reason, the reason for this is because, unfortunately, within the Tenant Fees Act, deposit amounts have now been capped. Can I ask, in this room, do any landlords allow pets? Can you put your hands up? Quite a few of you. Can I ask those that allow pets to now raise their hand if they ask for any additional deposit? Nearly all of you. You can't do that anymore because the deposit is now capped at five weeks. You cannot take any more than five weeks' rent. So you cannot ask for any more than that amount, regardless as to whether or not they've got pets. So you do, as a landlord, have another option to offer the property at a higher rent. OK? Now... Arla's guidance on this, which is the Association of Residential Letting Agencies, is roughly about £20 per month. And what that will do is it'll just cover you as a landlord with a little bit extra each month in rent to cover any potential damage. Now, just because somebody's got a pet and you can't charge a higher deposit, if that pet does damage the property and within your tenancy agreement you have a robust pet clause, you can still seek recovery of those costs, either from the deposit or a small claims court thereafter. But it just doesn't still give you the security that, you, that you're used to. Some people take an extra two, three hundred pounds, some people even a double deposit, depending. You can't do that anymore, but you can um, advertise at a higher rent. But please, if you're advertising your property and no matter what means you are advertising, it could be Facebook, it could be on a portal, it could be through open rent, it could be any way, you must declare within your advert if you are going to be offering it at a higher rent for pets. So, for example, you might have £600 per calendar month is the going rate and the, uh, the advert will state. But within the context of your advert, it will say, however, 625 if a pet owner. Because we have to make sure that we're being transparent and we're giving, um, under the Consumer Protection Regulations, that you're giving tenants all of the information that they need before making a transactional decision. And a transactional decision in this case is to view the property. Okay?